I'm not sure if you know about Bergen, uh, but it rains two or three days. For most people, that might probably seem like a bit too much. But then, you know, there's, there's other sides of it. Rain brings water. It freshens up the atmosphere. It lashes up the environment. And on top of that, it gives us time to be on the inside and get creative. So even though we, we, we have to live with that, we tend to twist it and turn it around to our advantage. I'm T. Michael. I'm a designer bespoke tailor for Norwegian Rain and T. Michael. Basically, when you come to Bergen, you can get everything. You can get an urban feel or you can get the rural kind of feel. It is surrounded by seven mountains. And from the mountains to the city, it takes about two to three, three to four minutes. So you'll be up there and in a snap of the finger, you'll be down in the cities. And for me, that is unique. There's not many cities in the world that can boast about that. I moved onto the street um, 17 years ago and there was nothing here. It was practically there. Um, one of the first I moved in and over time I've seen changes going on and it, it's just getting beautiful and, and, and crazy and cool and everything at the same time. There's so much going on in the creative city in Bergen, music wise, um, art um, and recently design as well. For me, you know, that rain thing is it's a positive thing. It's a place where we get to um, work beyond and between genres and we create things that stands out from the rest of the world really and 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 that you know in turn changes the whole perception of what Bergen is it is not just a gateway to the fjords um, it is a, a, a vibrant city people that come from Bergen have lots of pride and want to show to the rest of Norway that we can do it better than anyone else you know it's a funny thing it's, it's, it's ridiculous but hey it gets people going you know